Coming up next on Odd Squad. Oh, yes, new people! We're the X's. We're here to make sure you're not breaking any rules. This Odd Squad is spending too much money. So we're shutting down headquarters! <laughs> my name is Agent Olympia. This is my partner, Agent Otis. This is Cloud Nine. But back to Otis and me. We work for an organization run by kids that investigates anything strange, weird, and especially odd. Our job is to put things right again. You need to tell me where you are. Cool. Who do we work for? We work for Odd Squad. X's and O's. Thanks for coming, Odd Squad. What seems to be the problem, ma'am? Please, call me Christine. Okay, Christine, how can we help? The problem is with this couch. It's easier if I just show you. Pick up that end. Now, watch this. Try backing up a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. Yep, keep going. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you've got this. I know, feel the burn. Yep, back it up, yep. Turn left. Okay, you ready for this? We're gonna lift it up. Oh yeah, yeah. Woo! Nice work, Odd Squad. Did we just move your couch? Yeah. But there's nothing odd about moving a couch. Aha, uh -huh. I never said it was odd. You said what seems to be the problem, and the problem is I don't have any movers. That's not how you're supposed to use Odd Squad. Oh. I guess we'll just chalk it up to a misunderstanding. You know, I bet we're gonna laugh about this while we're moving the fridge. We're not moving your fridge. Right. If we're gonna move something light this time. Heavy stuff, light stuff, heavy stuff, light stuff. We're leaving. Happy to help. Have a great Don't say day. that. Not this time. Oh, well, I... Oh. Happy to help. Have a great day. Sorry, just had to say it. Wait, will you move a lamp to my new house? Okay, fine, quickly. 39 Pike Street, upstairs study. Yes, okay, now the fridge. <laughs> Whoa, Otis, look. Otis, 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 Otis! Otis, new people. You know what we need to do now? Leave them alone and let them be? Nope. Welcome, basket. <sighs> Knockity, knockity! Hi, I'm Olympia. That's Otis. Brought you a little something. Hope you like olive oil. So nice to see new faces. We've been working here for three months. Plus our faces aren't new. Good one, partner. <laughs> <laughs> I see you've met Xavier and Zena. Wait, you're Odd Squad agents and your names don't start with O? We're the X's. We work alongside the O's. Oh, X's and O's, like hugs and kisses. There will be no kisses or hugs. I don't even like handshakes. <sighs> They're a special division of Odd Squad. They were sent here by the big O. We're here to make sure you're not breaking any rules, and even breaking a lot of them. For example, your Odd Squad's over budget. What does that mean? Your budget is the amount of money you're allowed to spend every month, like an allowance. But this Odd Squad is spending too much money. This month you've spent $100 more than you're supposed to. So we're shutting down headquarters! What? what? You can do that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What if we fix the budget? Yeah, what if we just spend the amount we're supposed to and not the extra $100? Then you don't have to shut us down. Fine, we're reasonable people. You get till the end of the day. But that's it! You should take back your olive oil. <laughs> Don't worry, Miss O. Otis and I can get people to spend less money. I'll start. I'll cancel my member's juice delivery. It'll save us $10. Are you sure, Miss O? Yes! I could go without juice for a day! I believe it more if I yell it. Okay, so we need to save $100 to fix the budget. Right now we have $0. But if we have the $10 from Miss O canceling her juice order, that saves us $10 but we still have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 dollars left to get to 100. Otis, we should split up. We'll get it done faster. I feel like we should high five. Quickly. Sorry, Otis, 
but I need everything in my security budget. I'm also supposed to be on break right now. Can I see your budget, please? So every month you spend $5 for new wires, okay, $2 for electrical tape. Wait, it says here that you spend $10 every month on batons? Of course, I got a new baton every month. If I'm not twirling on a fresh baton, who's gonna take me seriously? Oh, and if you just keep the same baton, it saves us $10, Odd Squad stays open, it's a win, 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 win. It's not that many wins, but fine, we'll try it your way. Thank you. Ugh, this one's already turned. You need to save money, huh? I guess I could stop by creature food. What will your creatures eat then? Probably us. Maybe we could save money on something else. I can stop renting this hammock. Wait, you rent this hammock? Yeah, dude, I pay $8 every month and get a hammock with all the hassles of hammock owning. But if it means saving Odd Squad, I will say goodbye. Thank you, Ocean. <laughs> What are you doing? Marking things we want to take when you fail and this Oz Squad gets shut down. What? Why do you need my pens when you have your fancy gold ones? Your pens make my pens feel better about themselves. I like your glasses. Well, I spend money on electricity to run the lab each month. $12 a month. Well, can you use less electricity? I have an idea. Ha! Ah, it works! I'm using my bike to make things turn on. So we just saved another $12. Only problem is, I can never stop. Like, like ever. Should be doable. Thanks, Una. Una, I canceled my juice delivery. Do you have a gadget that makes juice? See what we've got. First, we saved the ten dollars from Miss O's juice. Then I got ten dollars from Owen, which brings us to twenty dollars. I got eight dollars from Ocean, and I got twelve more from Una. Eight plus twelve—that's twenty more dollars. That gets us up to forty. Oh, I also visit the mail room, the IT department, and the cafeteria. Save another ten dollars altogether. How would you have time? I to... don't talk much. Gotcha. Add another ten dollars, that gets us to fifty dollars. But we still have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 dollars to save to stay under budget. Good news, we're out getting our second lunch. We saw that lobster to go is hiring. In case you need jobs when headquarters gets shut down in five minutes. Otis, what are we gonna do? We've been to every department. Wait, who's that? I know her. Hey, I'm Olympia. We met once, we did a thing. You're Olo, right? Olo. What do you do here? I work in the glue department, and I'm the head of the glue department. I think I'm also the assistant deputy commissioner. Olo, we need to save a bunch of money to keep Odd Squad open. How much money do you use on glue? $50 a month. What? Hey, that's exactly the amount of money we need to save. Can we get you to give up your glue just this once to save headquarters? Um, okay. I was just about to buy a lot more glue and do a lot more gluing, but I won't. Olo, you are an odd squad hero. Yeah. That's $50 from that fine gentlewoman, and 50 plus 50 equals 100. Otis, we did it. We got everybody to help and save $100. We're on budget. Huh, hardly anything's changed around here. Ocean, what happened? My back is killing me because I haven't been sitting in my hammock. Let's zap them with our freezinators. What? Huh? Sorry, guys. I couldn't fix the freezinators because I'm too busy doing this. Juice. I need juice. What's going on? <gasps> the glue. What? I glue this whole place together. I glue all day and all night. No glue, boom, no place. Oh, oh. Well, I thought you were just doing arts and crafts. Well, that's what I do on my break. Oh, no, go buy glue. What about the budget? I have an idea, come on. Miss O, catch. Whew. 
Don't tell me you did that. Fancy gold pens, lobster dinners, gold furniture, a caviar bar, and I believe that's a massage chair. Oh, yeah. We did some research. You've been here for three months and you've been using money from our budget. So maybe if you stop spending so much money, we can stay on budget without giving up all the stuff we really need. Fine. I'll sell this uh, pen cap. It's worth $100. Great, budget fixed. I'll go tell everyone they can have their stuff back. <laughs> I guess everything is fine and you'll be going back to the Big O's office now. No, everything is not fine. There's been a lot of suspicious activity around here. Villain break-ins, missing gadgets. You wouldn't know anything about that, would you, Otis? Nope. Well, we'll be sticking around until we figure out what's going on. Have a good day. You're right, there's something totally off about him. He's not like the other agents. Or like us. <laughs> Odd Squad training video number 1,256. How to afford office supplies. How are you agents? Part of my job as Odd Squad lab director is to buy new supplies for the lab. And today I realized there's a secret special something I really need this month that costs $20. Unfortunately, there's no money left in the lab budget this month to buy it. The budget is the amount of money I have to spend on things. I went to see Ms. Soa to see if the lab could have a little extra money this month. Here's what she said. <laughs> so, new idea. I can save money from other parts of the budget by not buying things I don't need. Then I can use the money I save up to buy that secret special something. It says here I spend $15 each month on lights. I can totally do without lights this month. Apparently I need lights. What about $12 for gravity? Who needs gravity? Uh, let's find some things we really don't need. $15 for eyeglasses. Must have been an Oscar thing. See ya! That just saved me 15 big ones. I spend $4 every month on staples. Bye bye because I have a staplinator. That saves four more dollars. Now I have $19 to spend. Just one more dollar left to go until I can afford that secret special something. I spend one dollar every month on the letter S. I guess I can get rid of that. Ooper! I have aved $20. You know what that means? Now I can afford my secret special something. An accordion! Would you like to hear a on? <laughs> I love aving. Doctor, oh no. Wrench. Pineapple. Pineapple wrench. Una, there you are. Whoa, what's happening here? There's something wrong with my lab. Mostly when I move the speaker. Oro's on it. I'm Oral. I'm on it. I am going to change the subject now. Sounds good to me. This is Dr. O's replacement. We're calling her new Dr. O because that's the name she was born with. Nice to meet you. Hi, uh, welcome to Odd Squad. I'm Una. I run the lab. I need you to help new Dr. O if she has any questions or problems. Um, Miss O? I'd love to help out, but I'm really busy. All those gadgets I need to repair. Uh, how about Otis or Olympia? It's weird I haven't seen them around. Not everything has to involve them. You'll do great. Also, when you get a chance. Thanks, new friend. You know, a lot of people say scientists and doctors can't be friends. What? Who says that? One out of every four dentists. But I think we're gonna prove those dentists wrong. You and me, doctoring and sciencing united against the cafeteria workers. What? I don't wanna fight against the cafeteria workers. Me either. Good call. They're always listening. Don't worry. We don't need them making our food anymore. I do a little cooking on the side. A taco? 
This one's on me. Pachow, 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 pachow. You're good to go, Una. Done and done. Thanks, Haro. You're the best. Sign here for me. And now I can get back to work. Well, while I was doing that, I noticed this. Your maple syrup levels are low. Is that bad? Depends on how much explosions bother you. Things are a little slow in my department, so I could get that fixed up for you. Hey, science lady. Uba. I need your help. OK, be right there. You made it, friendo. Whoa. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. So this guy has saladitis, and he says he won't leave until I fix him. Well, isn't that your job, being a doctor and all? That's what I said. Old doctor had a medical book that can help. Ah, here it is. It says the way to cure saladitis is to feed the patient four inches of grubble grass. There's some grubble grass right over here. <laughs> nice. But which one is four inches? I guess I'll take a wild guess. No! The cure won't work if it's not the exact right length. So we measure the length with the ruler. The numbers on a ruler tell you how many inches long something is. So you line up the beginning of the grass with the edge of the ruler. And the end of the grass goes to this little line at the number six. That's six inches. That's too long. Four inches exactly. Got it. There you go, sir. Just eat that and you'll be fine. Whoa. Ah! <laughs> yes, I'm so good at my job. You're very welcome, sir. You can take this bowl as a souvenir from the time I made you not a salad. Thanks, Doc. Gotta run. You can keep the ruler. Thanks. You can have this burger. This cafeteria dude's got nothing on us. Pat to the chat to the wheat to the uh, pow tea to the cha cha pow to cha to the pow pow to the cha cha pow pow to the cha cha. Una, how's the new doctor doing? Honestly? Yes. And... It may take her some time. You were new once, remember? Also, can you fix these? I'll try. Maple syrup, done and done. Sign here, pal. Thanks, Oro. Does. This mean I could get back to work? Not exactly. When I was topping off the syrup, I noticed that your lab doesn't have mummy protection. Is that a problem? <laughs> I would say yes. I can fix it right up. Things are a little slow in my department. How would you do? Hey, Ula. It's Una. Listen, Budster. Got a little probski up here in the med bay ski. Little help for an old friend ski? Look. I've got a huge pile of gadgets to fix. Is there any way? Ah! If you want to help me, please press or say one. One. Yes, please fix the mummy thing. Excuse me. So this seems not normal. Did you look in old Dr. O's book for a cure? Of course I did, but it was garbage. Where's the book? in the garbage. <sighs> to cure hemorrhoidosis, give the patient a zebra leaf that's 16 inches long. Do you have zebra plant leaves? Tons. So you just measure them with the ruler like I showed you. <laughs> nice try, Mozart. But this ruler only goes up to 12 inches, not 16. I think the only solution is she's a hammerhead forever. No, it works. You just need to hold your place. So you lay the ruler down and measure it to the 12 mark. Then you put your finger here to hold your place and move the ruler to where your finger is. Now you add to the number you already have. 12 plus 4 equals 16 inches exactly. Just give her the sleeve and she's good to go. I love how we work together. Those cafeteria workers are going down. Town. I really don't have anything against the cafeteria staff. Then why are you wearing that anti-calf shirt? How did you do that? I think the better question is, how did I get that flatbread sandwich in your pocket?
Your anti-mummy software is installed. Done and done. Does this mean my lab is fixed and I can get back to those gadgets? Well, the thing is... Right. When you were solving the mummy thing, you found something else? Big time. When's the last time you went through those doors? It's been a while. Do me a favor. Walk through and take a right. Leads right to Yellowstone National Park. Beautiful, but yeah, you should probably fix that. I got some time. Hey, buddy. How did you get here? I followed you through. I got a small problem. Back at HQ, upstairs, where I work. Tiny sitch in the med bay, two seconds real quick, in and up, doctor problem, love your help. Got the puzzle piece missing, you're the piece, food for thought, you're the food, got some toast, you're the crust, I'm the butter, you're the fluffy part, time flies, having fun seats. Sure, but I'm not sure how to get back. Plane tickets, you can have the window seat. Whoa. Just a moment, sir. I made the cure in this book, but it didn't work. <sighs> to cure a case of tentacle feet, first measure two cups of dragon sweat. So I did exactly like it said. Watch. Hold up the ruler. Then pour the dragon sweat onto the number two. Then I catch the extra liquid in the two cups below. That's not how you use a ruler. You use a ruler to measure how long something is. Not to measure liquid. Huh? You use containers like gallons and pints and cups, and not just any cups, it has to be specific measuring cups. What's going on here? What's going on is this guy's got tentacle feet, and I'm trying to help, but I'm not a doctor, and this doctor seems way more interested in tacos and flatbread sandwiches. In Uga's defense, she makes an excellent point. And I make an excellent flatbread sandwich. That reminds me, I'm totally out of mayonnaise. Off to the store, back in a bit. Did she seriously just leave to buy mayonnaise? We'll deal with that later. What are we going to do about him? Fixed up that Yellowstone problem. I just need you to... Whoa, need a hand? That would be amazing. Looks like we're measuring liquids. Good thing I always carry these. Is that dragon sweat? Exactly. We need two cups. This is a one cup measuring cup. So let's fill two of these to the top. One. Two. I'll open the door. You throw. Got it. Sir, you're going to want to rest those legs. You call me in the morning. That was impressive. Why don't you try at the medical department for a while? Sure, as long as I can still keep my repair job. Things are a little slow in my department, so I can do both. I don't see why not. Done and done. What's next? <laughs> It's a mess in there, but I'll get you fixed right up. Get me a torque wrench and a funnel. Oro is great, but I know you're sad the new doctor is gone. I think I'll be okay. Don't worry, I've transferred her to the kitchen. What? Hey, Uda. Flatbread sandwich? Squad training video number 514. A guy to your time. Howdy do, agents. Here at Odd Squad, every agent wears a tie. Attached to a tie is a ruler. Your tie can do different things depending on how long it is. Right now, the tie is 10 inches long, but when we make it longer to 12 inches, now your tie can beatbox. Got something stuck between your teeth? Simply make the tie shorter to seven inches. Look at those pearly whites. Okay, you can leave now. Things are about to get intense. As you know, 
I myself wore a bow tie, mostly to look good, but it could also turn me into a box. So that's cool because a free box. And I can turn myself back by tugging the bow tie again. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Except I can't because I'm a box. Wow, I really shouldn't have told her to leave. There you are. Something very odd has happened. Yes, I'm talking to you, the one with the neck. Take a look at this. Odd Squad headquarters is full of odd invaders. Robot princesses, time sheep, laser chickens, flying goldfish, even spider cats. So charge up your gadgets and help us put things right again. At pbskids.org. Odd Squad needs you. Odd Squad, teaming up with teamwork together as a team. Hi, my name is Zena. And I'm Xavier. Hi, I guess. We're the X's, a special division of Odd Squad. Our job is to make sure everyone's following the rules. We have a reputation for not being very nice. But that reputation's wrong. So we're shutting down headquarters! What? <laughs> As you can see, we're very warm. And fuzzy. I think the best part about us is that we are people persons. You might say we're people people. We're people who like people. And that's why people like us. What are you doing? Marking things we want to take when you fail and this Odd Squad gets shut down. The second best part about us is our amazing sense of humor. Hey guys, want to hear a joke? No. Also no. Just because we can shut down Odd Squad doesn't mean we will. But we might. If we do shut it down, we'll do it with a smile. And a laugh. <laughs> Odd Squad. Teams working with teams together as a team together. I think that was 